Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Sophie and I are just sitting here discussing the joys of motherhood. What are the joys of motherhood, Sophie? Snuggling and kissing your baby. Right. What are the hardships? Everything else. <laughs> Everything else. <gasps> She's not going to lie, you guys. Being a parent is a hard as heck, huh? You get to see this adorable face every day. Yeah, and that's what I think, too. I get to see your adorable oh. face every day, which is why I always want you to brush your hair and wash it so that I can... <laughs> My hair this week. Yeah, you have this week. This puppy's been running around all day thanks to Sophie letting her play. And then at the end, when she starts to get tired, she climbs right up Sophie's legs all the way up to her chest and cuddles in. When you made me the egg and I was sitting over there, I saw the little Dalmatians climbing up there. Uh oh. She knows how to climb on couches. Anyways, welcome to today, and also I wanted to tell you guys that I was thinking about turning my hair brown. What do you guys think of it? You already did it. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It's actually true. I dyed my hair brown. It's actually dark blonde, and after a couple of washes, I'll go back to blonde. It'll just fade out. The darkness will fade out, but I've noticed I've been looking really washed out lately, and I hate that, so I knew that it is time to darken my hair just a tiny bit. So that was my attempt and a tiny bit a tiny bit the girls are not used to seeing it this brown that but i've had it this tiny. brown before anyway I, it's okay i like it it makes me feel good and you guys should know that you are not your hair color you are not your body you are not your eye color you are not how gorgeous so you are a different me inside me there is a different you inside of you like just a different her inside her yes it's where all that energy came from. Everything that you are comes from inside of you. Everything. The outside is just a shell, sister. So I have to rip the outside off? Nope. If you are really living your best life, then your inside will shine out all on its own and people will see it. Hmm? <laughs> it is true, though. If you are being authentic and genuine and living your own life and living your true life and being who you are inside, all that beauty that is in there will just shine right out. You guys know, you've met people where you've been like, wow, that person is like so awesome. It is only when you be yourself that the inside can shine brighter than the outside. But anyway, welcome to today. I today, myself. today we have a riding lesson. So we are headed to the barn. We're waiting for Miss Princess, I mean, Miss Gabby to finish getting ready at her leisure. Yeah, she's getting ready to go to the barn. She's got no riding pants because she hates all the ones that she has. Some her other ones ripped and the store doesn't have her size. So yeah, we might be waiting for a long time today. Gabby is whipping on the heat. We're in the car. Oh, the she's off. like, <laughs> the car's not on and she's like oh, oh, oh. so we are ready to go unfortunately Sophie forgot her boots in the car in the house imagine imagine we got to the barn and there were no boots for her be a sad day I'm just riding the sneakers no yeah, stirrup lesson yeah no stirrup <gasps> Sometimes she, do struggle, she does need to. She needs lower leg strength. Yeah, she needs to. I know, because I can kind of light seat without stirrups. She does really well without stirrups, but you can always use a good lesson, an extra lesson, always. All right, she's got them. Hopefully, she's got her helmet, too. Do you have your helmet? I used my helmet on Sparky last, so it should be in here. There is a helmet in here. Make sure it's yours. We have a scarecrow. We have a scarecrow. We set up a cross rail. I didn't even look at it, though. Of course, it's the non-spookiest thing ever. Dad, Dad literally threw it to me while I was on him. I know, I watched like, the video. I was enthralled. I was watching. Storm literally went over it, though. I steered him to go over it. Well, and we did knock it. You know what? I was. The barn. Uh, I thought it was crazy that Chino pa pushed past Dad. Mm -hmm. He got him. beat up, though. Not badly. Oh, he only really got little bites. Like, did you see it? No. I mm. walked in there and Chino trotted. Yeah. He <laughs> Chino and Finn were trying. He does like, seem like he gets crazy over something. Like I feel it was like not it's... separate. He was just sad because a horse bit him. Yeah, two times. I, I don't know. I but feel they like, weren't even bad. I feel like he's driven by hunger sometimes. Uh, no. All right. Well, we have to go. Gabby's having breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Turn on the car? Yeah. It's really cold. 13 degrees out outside. No helmet in here. I remember yelling at Dad about where my helmet goes. I put it in her locker, I thought. Okay, so your helmet's at the farm? Look at Chino's old bit, it freaking balances. Yeah, so we have bit one, and then I have a bit in my purse, so I think. it bends, except for when it bends this way, it locks. Yeah, we don't understand what that's about. 
It's a special kind of bit, obviously. A certain kind of bit. All right, let's do it. Let's get to the barn. Let's see Fiona. This is, might be our last lesson on Fiona for a few months. We're riding Fiona? We're riding with Fiona. This might be our last lesson with Fiona, but let's go. Um, we were driving by, the boys are all out in the front field, and Gabby screamed out the window, hey guys, or hey boys, and Finn and Chino were like, oh gosh, he noticed. No, nope. Storm did too. Oh, did he? Storm, X Storm and Chino saw me. We're all there. getting dressed. Storm <laughs> Putting my Chino boots on. Hmm. I can never drive with my big boots on, like my big warm boots on. I have to take one off to drive. All right, let's go get our ponies. Well, Tex and Oakley are there. Our friend, our boys don't want to be friends with you guys anymore. I'm staying here. I'm staying here while the girls run and get the ponies. Have I mentioned lately how much I love being here? I love this barn. I love, like, it's just such a surreal, it's just such a serene environment. I feel our horses really feel it too. Now that would be a great place to take photos. Look at how beautiful. It's just stunning. The camera doesn't do it justice. They got gravel everywhere now to help with the mud because it's muddy season. Do you ever do that thing where you're just waiting, waiting, waiting for your kids to come and then they don't come and they don't come and they don't come and then you freak out and you're like, oh my gosh, what's happening? So then you, oh, so then you start walking toward them and then as soon as you start walking toward them, a horse comes galloping. Storm's like, fine. Don't take me! I'll just go anyway! So this is nerve-wracking. Why is a horse coming without my kids? Did you kill the children? Did you kill the children, Storm? They're actually still not coming. So then you start walking towards them, and the minute you start walking towards them, they start coming. I'm going to have to start walking towards them because they're still not coming. What's happening down there, Storm? Hey, what's happening? Are they giving them a hard time? Is somebody hurt? Did you come to get me? Look, he came to get me. All right, so now I'm going. <laughs> what is taking them so long? It is possible that the ponies do not want to be ridden today. Okay, I'm halfway there and they're still not coming. Like, what the heck? They're gone. Do you think it's possible that they went out a different way? What the heck? We've never gone out that other gate. We don't even know if we're allowed to go out that other gate. Here I am standing here waiting. Maybe it's a Halloween prank. They totally disappeared. Where are you? Well, I am trekking through the field looking for you. Where are you? Go to the barn. How'd you get out? The other gate. Are you allowed? Yeah. Have you seen other people do it? No. Uh-oh. All right, I'm on my way. Gabby's saying if you want your horse to stand all nice and square and beautiful. It's not, he's not that square though. He's, he's like forward. Show them something scary. What do you think, Chino? Eh? And then they'll make their muscles pretty. You know he has more muscles than that, we all know. Good boy. So where did Good you- Good boy. I went all the way there. Yeah. Hoping I would find you. Did I find you? No. No. I called you. Yeah. Are you videoing the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. I'll put some scary music there, make it entertaining. The birds are even laughing at you. Oh, I look at the little bird. Are you laughing at me? There's three of them. Three little birds. Oh gosh, Gabby. Yeah. Why you gotta scare everybody, Gabby? This is Gabby's Halloween. Halloween is Gabby's thing. Okay, so for I'm Halloween, I know I'm making Finn. Okay, what are you making, Finn? You guys are gonna have to wait Can and see. Okay, this hurry up and get get she done. Like to to be like Chino, she doesn't appreciate when you jump her and kick her in the head. So this is yeah, Wendy. Don't do that. Don't kick her. Storm's jumped her and not touched Okay, her. get ready. We're late. Come on, hurry up. So things that you guys should know. One, uh, we have two more shows. Two more confirmed shows. Anything can happen between now and then. Weather or weather or COVID, but one of the shows is indoors, so hopefully that'll be okay. So yeah, and the other thing is that they our costume. We need ideas, you guys. We need ideas no, for I costumes. Know, know we kind of have an idea of what Finn's gonna be. I know what I'm gonna be. The first thing you said? Yeah. No, the, um, so one of my horses is gonna be an Indian horse, and the other one's gonna be a Captain America. If one's an Indian, should you be a cowboy? 
dress up. Yeah, Gabby's like me. Horses that dress up. Yeah, Halloween is not my thing. Like I am not Halloween a Halloween person. Cricket candy. Sam loves it. Yeah. Sam loves it, Sophie loves it, but I'm not like the kind of person to go out there and spend a lot of time and energy figuring out a costume. I don't like costumes. Yeah, like I have so much going on that that's like the least of my worries. Now that COVID is kind of making a comeback, all the barn rules and stuff are changing. So there are a lot more rules here now. Um, only so many people could be at the barn at the same time. Only so many people inside. Like we have to maintain our distance. We have to do like, there's a lot of things that are changed but all perfectly acceptable reasonable um things all perfectly reasonable and acceptable rules like i have so much respect for this barn for all the things that they do to try and keep everybody safe like it's amazing i think most barns are doing whatever they can to keep people safe the gentle giant push dad gabby said all right get ready come on let's go gabby says she sees snow i don't feel like it's cold enough to snow no. snow or rain Okay, so I'm sitting here and Sophie's gone to take her saddle back and I'm telling Finn, you're a good boy, Finn, because I, th I believe horses know. You're a good boy, Finn. And people say, so people say horses don't know, but he's standing here and he's looking towards the door and he's standing so here wedding. and I'm telling him he's a good boy and he's licking his lips. He was licking his lips and smacking his lips and you're a good boy, Finny. You are such a good boy. You getting a treat? Like he knows that the treat is coming. He's listening for it. He knows too. Like he, they are patiently waiting for what comes next. Like horses are amazing creatures. You're amazing creatures. Puppy's using her brand new bucket. Would you put water? And the rest of those. The hay cubes? Yeah. So he doesn't get pushy with your hands now. What do you think, Finn? He's like, I want a better tweet. He only took like one. And it takes him that long to do it. it. Smells like, um, what is it, gingerbread. Ooh, I love, I love gingerbread. That's just Molly. Does he like? Pig. Of course he likes like it. it. Yes. Storm's gone. Don't, Don't call them because let these guys have the hay bale to themselves for a bit. Go ahead, Mr. Ch Chino Bambino. Go have some drinks. Ben's making a beeline right for the hay. He didn't even take a drink. Did he take a drink? Nope. Straight for hay. I want to touch the fence. Touch it, I dare you. I hear it. It's going to shock me. I don't want that kind don't of... Don't bring any horses back with you. I love this weather. It's warm, but it looks like it's going to rain. And it was windy on the horse. Go eat, big handsome man. He's like, what if I don't want to? Well, he wants to. I want to, too. Let's go home and have some lunch. Look at how gorgeous, you guys, all the leaves from that gorgeous tree. The camera does not even do it justice. The dogs are super excited to chase the chickens. So I have some crazy bad news. The bad news is we decided, we decided, Sophie and I, not to overwinter our chickens again. A lot of you guys don't understand this, but in Canada especially, not everybody keeps chickens in the winter. And we thought we would be able to do it this year, but it's just going to be too hard. So we are going to take them back to the same place that we got our chickens from. Uh, I'm going to show you guys where they are. They have a really good life there. And yeah, so today we're going to say goodbye again on the Day by Day Farm. It's a sad thing. We're going to do the brisket last because I feel like he's going to... Favorite one? Yeah. Are you sad about this, Sophie? Yeah. It is a bit sad. Do you want to keep them? Not through winter. Not through winter. It is I hard, mean, you guys. Alive, after winter, we can. Yeah, he did say we could get them back. Oh crap! Well, get them, oh. Get them uh oh, she flew the coop. <laughs> sad. I know it, but I'm gonna tell.
tell you guys something. We know our limitations. We are not good winter farmers. Farmer, we are like good spring, summer, and fall farmers. But once the weather turns freezing cold and the conditions are really hard, it's hard for us. And the biggest thing for me is knowing that my chickens are cold outside. Like I, I don't know. We were gonna put them in the. Sophie just caught herself a rooster. So um, we were gonna put them in the barn. We were gonna put them in the barn. I don't want to put them in the barn. I want to ruin the barn. And we hope that maybe we'll move this winter. Like, I don't know. Not this year. Maybe another year, but not this year. I have tons of food that I'm gonna give them. Did you guys see the video where we got these chickens? It was like this beautiful, amazing chicken land. He said we could have them back. We want to, I don't know what will happen. I can't promise anything. All I know is that they'll be happy at his place. Probably happier at his place where it's this big, huge chicken compound than in our little area, especially if it's cool. All right, so we're gonna go and take them and drop them off. The girls didn't want to come. They're still doing school because we had riding this morning. So they're just finishing up their math. And uh, Sam and I are gonna drop them off. I'm excited actually to go and show you how you know. One way you know that you're making the right decision is by the relief you feel in your heart. What kind are these? Uh, that one right there? Yeah. That would be a naked neck. Yeah, he's a naked neck. I could have guessed that name myself. Look at it. Another naked name, neck. Another name for them, uh, I think the actual term is uh, turkin. Turkin. They kind of resemble a turkey. Yeah, super cute. <laughs> and uh, blue lace red wine dots. Oh, I like lo I love wine dots too. These are my uh, cousin's chickens. This is your pond that you were working on last time, and it's all set up. All the ducks are in there. The ducks are making it bigger. How do yeah. they make it bigger? They uh, sit there and they dig at the bank. Nice. When they uh, sit there in the water, they kind of like flutter it or whatnot. It flutters in and out, so they oh. quickly filter it. They wear. Oh. You can kind of see the one on the far end doing it right now. Oh, down there. So I've made it to get a trailer load of rocks. I oh, can't see them. That's super cool. All the ducks. All the babies. Are those baby ducks or are they just a smaller bantam oh, breed? They're call ducks? Yeah, so oh, I love that little skinny neck. neck. Make it, Matt. But uh, for sure, I'll be breeding those next year. Okay, so which one are those? Those are uh, French black copper morans. Okay, French black copper morans. Apparently, they're really nice chickens. Are they that really darkish? Look at those those ducks. What kind are they? They're really Cayugas. Cayugas, and they're really green. That was beautiful. Oh my gosh! Look at these guys. They're all just waddling around like they're king of the world. How do you tell which one's boy or girl? Uh, well, with uh, the white and brown ones, they're an auto-sexing breed. So the uh, females are brown with uh, white in their face, and the males are always white. The other ones, you have to bump sex them. Oh, so that little white and gray one is so gorgeous. What's that? Uh, the one right in front of us. Mm -hmm. that, that would be a pilgrim. A pilgrim. So do you know if it's a boy or a girl, or you can't tell? Looks uh, like a boy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's a boy. You boys are always pretty. I love them. Like, I love this. I don't want this. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that one. It's so addictive. pretty. Yeah, it's so addictive. He's going to be one of my uh, Easter egg roosters for next year. So, what is he? Uh, just a Easter egg cross. Okay. Barnyard mix or whatnot. Yeah. That's basically what Easter eggs yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. He's Descendants cute. from Americanas or yeah. leg bars and all that. Yeah, so cute. This little naked neck is having some supper. Is that one of the runner ducks? Yep. Oh, so the last time we were here, we saw all the runner ducks. See, they, they stand up to run. Isn't that so cool? That is amazing. That's my favorite chicken. Oh yeah, that's him. That's what I'm gonna get. So you're gonna sell me one of those. Hopefully we'll have babies next year and we can get those. Apparently they're not that friendly and they're not that nice. Well, it all depends on if you raise them and stuff like that. So they're cochins, right? Yep. I love them. They're so huge and so pretty. Very, very winter hardy too. Wind hardy? Winter hardy. Winter hardy, yeah, I know. I'm just, we're just, I guess we're just lazy. I don't know. It's just not my thing. Look, there's a duck lane right there. What a nice guy. The guy that we bought our chickens from this year literally is the nicest guy. Like, he just gave us a little tour of his compound again. But really, really, really nice guy. That's why I like to buy from him. 
So we took our chickens back so we could come back in the spring and get them again. Or we could like get other ones or whatever. And we definitely want, like I want that big huge white Cochin chicken. Oh, I don't even, I think there's a, a name in front of the Cochin, something Cochin, but it's a giant breed. I want some babies of that and he's gonna have, hopefully have them in the spring. And, um, and then he has some black, uh, black copper morans and I want those. And he also is gonna have some Easter eggers. So I want those. Like we want to do like, I don't know, like chickens is fun for us. It's a fun hobby for us. And we love our chickens and I feel bad getting rid of them. I know that they'll be happy there though. But he did tell us, you know, chickens overwinter better than they do the summer. Like he said, all he showed us what he does. He has a bunch of t truck caps, like you know, the caps of trucks and he puts straw inside there and that's where they go that's where they live that's where the chickens go when it gets cold he doesn't have a heat source he doesn't have anything to warm up the water he comes out every single day and smashes it twice a day and they just that he says that winter is easier on chickens than summer and i said yeah but it's not easier on me anyway really really nice guy i love meeting people like that you know that feeling when you meet your people he is literally one of my people. He's just the nicest guy. Like he's just a friendly, outgoing, amazing. He's just young, like maybe 22, maybe. He really, really nice young guy who loves his chickens, takes such good care of them. Like I just love it. Don't you know that you're beautiful?